All right, go back to work. Well, I almost finished. We are gonna do the wrap, wrap in. Wrap up in three hours from now. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Are you fired up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, before wrapping up, uh, let me let me discuss a little bit, a little bit about VCs because you know that this is a edge program for entrepreneurs in global context. So VCs uh, kind of knowledge is needed in some extent. Venture Kay? capital. Venture, oh, venture sorry. Capital. Venture capital. Venture capital. <laughs> right. Uh, this is uh, venture capital's activities, major, uh, typical activities, sourcing, structuring, value add, and exit. Sourcing is searching for good startup companies to be invested, right? And structuring is uh, uh, due diligence. Due diligence is evaluating the companies in detail and making contracts to investment to the companies and acquire a uh, share of stocks from them. And value add, I was doing value add process for venture capital and private equity funds. And this is uh, uh, the process of supporting portfolio companies by many activities, right? Building strategy, doing sales, finance, recruiting, and many other stuff. And exit, because they are fund and uh, raising fund money from their investors, so they have to exit in some future, sell a part or a whole share of stock to others. Right? Be, be careful. These everything is written in a from a viewpoint of venture capital. Right. Okay? It's not you. Not not you. This is somebody who will give you money. Okay. So it's their portfolio right. companies. It's them does the due diligence. So it's not you. You will be evaluated. You're on the other side of this. So this is like showing you. Like your 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 uh, venture capital and his activity or her activity, okay? So don't get that confused. This is not you, okay? Right, right. Thank you. Yes. And uh, they are investing money on you, your company, at a point structuring. It's called entry value, and they are getting back money at this point exit, it's called exit value. And they are going to increase this value to this through value add process, right? And they want to get a certain amount of return for making their, their investors behind happy, okay? And target IRR don't care about what IRR is, but it is uh, rate of return, annual return, okay? Is basically 40 to 60%, very high, right? Very high. And uh, this is the process of what venture capital is doing. So if you will be in an occasion for talking with venture capital, you should definitely know the activities, they, what they are doing, okay? And also, this is a, a structure of venture capital, typical venture capital, that you'd better to know if you will raise money from them in, in some future. This is a fund, so-called, uh, this is a venture capital fund, and this is LP, LP means limited partners. It's investor behind venture capital, right? Venture capital's money is coming from somewhere, from investors, right? Like uh, DBJ, Development Bank of Japan, or Shinsei Bank, or Marubeni, or Ma Ma Mitsui, or Sumitomo, or whatever. And uh, this is GP, general partner. General partner is so-called the fund managers of the venture capital. And LP, limited partner, is investing money on VC fund, venture capital. The venture capital invest money on your company and other portfolio companies. And you 
uh, also invest money and effort to your business, right? For getting this business bigger, for making this business grow, you might need money. So you need, in that case, you need to raise money from venture capital. But if you would not need any money for getting this business bigger, you should not raise money from venture capital. You know? And you would invest money to business for getting a return and reinvest it, getting return. This is an uh, ecosystem in your business. And venture capital fund is getting return from you by 40 to 60 percent return. And limited partners, investors of venture capital is also receiving return from them. And this is so-called venture capital, and this is uh, also called venture capital in a broader sense, right? So invest, return, invest, return, invest, return, and you are here. And if you would raise some money for getting business bigger, you should know this structure, right? And after, even after, even here, there are another investor for LPs, right? So it's a uh, nested structure, like, you know, Matryoshka, みたいな感じ It's the same. Ideko kozo なんですね Right? Then, this slide shows where do venture capital check? Where do venture capital generally check? Watch. Marketability, product service, competitiveness, management team, profitability, and return to funds. Right? So it's very uh, comprehensive viewpoints, and they are checking the market sizing. That is why they are asking to you what is market size or what is your primary market, right? And is it growing? And value proposition satisfies unmet needs, or is it scalable? Do you have competitive advantage, or is it sustainable, or easy to copy? Or management team, as those people have get things done mentality and get things done ability, based on they check it based on your behavior and your track record in history, right? And your team is good. Team has good chemistry or not. And you have good economics. You need economics or not. Or your initial investment could be paid back in your future. And finally, those checking point would be combined into this. Can we, we means venture capital get sufficient amount of return from this guy, okay? This is what venture capital check. For raising money from receipt, you have to convince them that their investment will make sufficient return in future. Because, you know, the future return is uncertain even for them, so you should convince that to them. And you have to show that market is very attractive, value proportion is unique and variable, implementation plan is durable, unit to economy is, is good enough, business model is scalable, and so on and so forth. Right? Okay. It is not needed right now, maybe, but it might be needed in some future. So uh, I uh, discussed this in here. All right. Uh, have any questions about this? Oh, yep. Uh, sorry, this, this is about uh, venture capital's case, and I'm, and I'm wondering how about the case of getting money from bank? 
the, uh, is it not important resource for getting money for startups? It's completely different. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. Bank is risk averse. Venture capital is risk takers. And uh, venture business, startup, are risky business, uncertain business. So it's bad combination with venture, venture business and bank borrowing. It's not good. But if you would start very stable business, bank borrowing would be better. Don't need to grow, just make a good balance sheet, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you make good balance sheet is the only point for bank, uh, like uh, compa uh, comparing these uh, VCs uh, metrics? Well, uh, they have some, uh, their own check sheet, check sheet. You can, you can see it in the library. It is uh, Yoshu Besu Kashidashi Shinsa Jiten to know what Checking point is shown in here, in that bo book. Mm. And uh, that includes the uh, safetyness of balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Safetyness. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Productivity of balance sheet. Mm -hmm. And profitability in profit and loss statement. And management background. Right. So, management background is almost the same, but they prefer more uh, <laughs> 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 decent person. Yeah, decent person. Yeah, wearing suit <laughs> rather than Parker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally different. Yes. So I it's not. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. I understand. Thank you. We have two questions um, uh, from some information I got, like uh, from the like uh, newspapers or articles. Um, the VC, uh, the the biggest point um, in, in most case, uh, VC uh, people like cares about for the founders team or startup companies is that the the team member, mm. like mm. not only the business plan or mm -hmm. uh, competitiveness of yeah. the like technology yeah. behind the business model. Yeah. Um, the most some sometimes most important point could be like uh, the, te the team can like achieve or like yep. uh, make the plan like happen or yep. make can uh, like can make difference or not like um, and what do you think about that? I, I want to hear uh, the uh, your opinion about yep. that. Yep. And the second point is that uh, I forgot that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think it's true. I think it's true. The most important point is team or management member. In sometimes only one CEO, right? Talking with the CEO, looking at his eye or her eyes, and feel something from him, and check the background, track record in history. That is the most important thing, right? Many, many. We see venture capital says so, and I think so. And uh, uh, hmm. some people said a, a person, a very uh, famous venture capitalist, said uh, the most important point is my gut feeling. He said, <laughs> gut feeling. Just talking with a uh, candidate, just talking with the CEO of venture business, by five minutes or 10 minutes, mm -hmm. he said, he said, I can understand, I can feel from him, <laughs> right? So I don't know if it's sure or not, but I think it's somewhat correct, right? Uh, I got two more questions. Yes. So in that sense, uh, what do you see like uh, in the, uh, what? What, which point do you see in the team, mem the team member or CEO like to evaluate them if, if it they can make difference? What, which point do you check? Uh, the most important thing is track record, history. It's very, very concrete, right? 
what you did in the history, right? It's very convincing, right? And if you don't have any track record, you have to convince them by other ways, right? So typing a, a customer's voice or yes, something like yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. Making small, quick win in a certain market mm -hmm. or getting the some you know support from big companies or uh, get uh, publicity, big publicity and TV shows or many things, many things, right? Yes. Okay, so so that once you build a track record, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Before doing that, it's tough, right? And for the last question, uh, back into the entrepreneur's like point of view, mm -hmm. um, I think I said like uh, it is important to uh, choose which VCs to present. Yes, for us. yes. So, uh, in that point, in that sense, uh, what, what, which point should we like check or like we? Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Exactly. Yes. I cannot say the name of VCs, but there are some uh, terrible VCs in Japan. And uh, you should ask person in the, the venture business area who is familiar with, who is very uh, familiar with the fundraising from venture capital, mm -hmm. right? And uh, asking uh, uh, reference interview, doing reference interview is very important. Mm -hmm. Because venture capitalists do that for you know, your former boss or your customers, or they are doing a bunch of interviews mm -hmm. for checking your background, right? So you should do it, you should do it, okay? And uh, one advice is, oh okay, sorry, forget about it. Uh, I will do it in half, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. Nihongo de Daigo. Oh, no. Chodo Sengu, no. Clean Tech, Kanko Gizitske, no. No. Accelerator program, no. Yatan de Skedomo. その今後のその社会を考えると、そのビジネスとして成功するのも大事ですし、やっぱり社会的インパクトも結構 あえて言わないっていうところあると思うんですけど、でもおっしゃる通り、あのやっぱり投資家としてもそこのあの注力っていうのはフォーカスにすごく上がってるとは思いますね。So to summarize, the societal impact is one of the new categories that's being checked by um, the venture capitals because they are more concerned on the not only the profit, but the societal impact or societal um, like responsibility has been uh, on, a, on a checklist recently. And then he agrees on that, and then he sees that trend happening in many venture capital systems, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Not all. <laughs> yeah of course, it depends on it the depends, venture yeah. capitals. Okay. Uh, any further questions? Right. <laughs> Yamanaka Reiji san という yes. 名前が What what who, who is name he? of book? Could you please tell me? 
Uh, yes, uh, it's not from Burke. He's um, uh, one of my friends. Oh. He's a Harvard Business School graduate mm -hmm. in the same class, okay. 2003. And uh, he is a guest lecturer to SDM, uh, Entrepreneurial Design Theory. Oh. Yeah, he came to here last year, and uh, he is come to here in this year, too. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank He's a great guy, great guy. You should know. This is from his lectures. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so if you want to see more, you need to kind of, you know, start entering SDM. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, no. And yes. sorry, two yes. more questions. Right. And 85, sorry. And value add. So many useless slides on it, so. Oh, sorry, thank you. Yeah, VC section okay, is yeah. value add. No, it sale to ka, recruiting to ka, others to ka te, um, honto ni shite iru no kana? Shimas. Mecha shimas. Hai. So, ni pitch shimas shi, recruiting to ka, kiko shimas. Hito no shokai mo shimas shi. Hai. No, others to te no, do yon. Nan de mo ya desu. なんでもないですね。もうだってあれですよ。あの経理手伝ったりとか、だって取締役非常勤取締役に若者のあのアナリストレベルのやつが入ったりするんですね。もうちょっとシニアのやつが入る時もありますけど、ステージによっては、フェーズによっては、したらもうねかなりいるのでオフィスに、ちょっとこれやってくれませんかっつってやることはすごいありますね。それはそのベンチャーキャピタルの企業によってちょっとその入り方は。特徴として変わってくる。違います。し人によっても違いますね。あ,あともう一点あって、その NPO が最近、はい、その、はい、ベンチャーキャピタルとは別の形でスタートアップ企業の支援とかをしているところがすごく増えていると思うんですけれど、はいはい、その実際にそのアントレプレナーたちがその NPO に求めているのが何なのかなって考えたときに、はい、まあネットワークとかあのまあノウハウの支援とかいろいろあると思うんですけれど、はいはいはい、なんか明らかにこれはやっぱり重要だなって思われることは、ね、でもやっぱりあの。ネットワークとその人が持っている経験とあとはまああのまあネットワークっていう言葉で言えるのかもしれないですけどプロモーションブランディングですねコネクティングトゥーマーケットとかヌーマーケットとかそういうところだと思いますよね,はいでね NPO もいろんな NPO があるので本当に優れたバックグラウンドを持ってやってるシニアの人ががっつり入ってくれるところもあればなんか何これみたいなねところもありますからね。まあいろんなのがありますけど、でもあのおっしゃる通りネットワークノウハウって感じだと思います。ありがとうございます。So her question was, you know, VC's activity. She was not sure if whether if venture capital would do sales for with you or recruiting with you. But his answer is yes, absolutely yes. Venture capital does a lot with you because he. It's most of the case that venture capital will send a person to your company to become a part of your management team, and then they are. They some VCs. It depends on who and what kind of VC you're talking about. But they will pr pr pretty much work with you as a team. So he he or she does a lot with you. Yeah. So that was the answer. And then the, there are many NPOs, nonprofit organizations, who is helping or say they claim to support um, entrepreneurs. And th their function is, I mean, hi from his opinion, their function. I mean, the entrepreneur kind of expect these NPOs to help them. With their maybe special networks, maybe special backgrounds or special expertise, so that's his best guess. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. 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 っていうのも一緒にベンチャーキャピタルの方々に見せながらやっていくんですか。それとも隠すところは隠すんですか。その隠しちゃダメ。あ、隠しちゃダメなんです。はい、えじゃあ完全にもう,もうチームとして一緒に見てるんですか。そう,そうしたらなんかそのベンチャーキャピタルがその他の競合にも投資してるときに情報を操作してるんじゃないかとか疑心暗鬼にはならないんですか。それを信じられないベンチャーキャピタルから投資を受けちゃ絶対ダメですね。それはファイアウォールって言って絶対に渡しちゃいけないっていうのは彼らの職業倫理なのでそれをもし信じられないんだったらそういう相手なんで受けちゃダメそれから隠しちゃダメはいありがとうございますこれも本当に大事です一緒になって同じ問題に取り組まなきゃいけないのでありがとうございますすごい大事なポイントです
、もう一点だけなんですけど、はい、その。えー、とベンチャーキャピタルの方は将来そのリターンが来ることを祈って祈って祈ってっていうか信じて<笑>信じて投資してると思うんですけど彼らはどのくらい遠くまでを想定してるんですかね多分100年後の投資を考えて投資してるわけじゃないと思うんですけど<笑>はい、はい、グッドクエスチョンですねどのくらいなんですかね、はいえっとですね普通あのファンドには期間っていうのがあってあのこ,こ,あとこことここの間でそれ握られてるんですよ最初に例えば5年とか5年プラス2年で7年とか5年プラス3年で8年とか基本的には5年で解散しますでもその状況によっては3年延長しますとか5年プラス5年っていうのもあるしでも100年っていうのは聞いたことないですね<笑>新しいかもしれない100年のベンチャーキャピタルっていうのは<笑>そんな感じ大体そんな感じですはい、はい、ありがとうございます So her question was it's, it's interesting that she has this she has or many of you maybe have an impression that Venture capital is somebody that will give you money and do nothing about your entrepreneurship or business. But no, that's not the case. Actually, he or she will come to you and then work as a team. So she was wondering do you like, okay, sometimes you want to hide some information because your management is not going so well and you don't want them to see you in suffering. But Hachiguchi san says no, you share everything with them because they are on your boat. Okay, so you need to trust them and they trust you. And if you cannot trust them, the VCs, don't deal with them. So that's the、uh, message. Yes.、Uh, me? um, I understand that venture capitals have a lot of merits for startups, but、um, do you think venture capitals are、uh, indispensable for s- entrepreneurs? I mean, Is there any cases that startups grow like、uh, almost completely independent?、Or? Yes, there are many cases. Yeah. In some cases, venture business does not need any venture capital or any investment. Yes,、mm-hmm. In, uh, uh, the business can get cash flow, organic cash flow, by themselves. Do not need any money from outside, right? So, like,、uh, which one is a、uh, good? Well, Santori, Recruit. They are not raising money from outside a lot, small amount of money outside, but using their own cash flow. They got such big companies, right? So there are many cases. But if you want to accelerate your growth speed, you might need outside money, right? So it depends on your、uh, time horizon you are targeting at. And it depends on your cash flow you can get from your business, right? So Not necessarily that the venture capital is needed for every single venture business. Yeah, this, is, this is really important because I don't know, this is like a myth, maybe. Okay. Entrepreneur h a v e to talk to venture capital. No! Because we don't, right? We never talk to venture capital, but we're running our business just fine. So, no, venture capital is there if you need them, okay? And you can start your company maybe next week sometime without never talking to venture capital, never getting money from anywhere. Okay? So don't get it wrong. Okay? Venture capital is way a option to get money. You can go talk to your dad and get money too, get a donation. So venture capital is not something you need to go to. Okay? That's a crazy idea. Crazy idea. You can do it yourself. You can do it with, you can go. You should probably go talk to your rich uncles before you go to venture capital. No, I'm serious. I'm, I'm so serious that you should go to talk to them. If you cannot convince your uncle, you will not ever, ever be convincing venture capitalists. Okay?、Yeah. So、right. don't get it wrong. That's, you know, that's the sole real, th- that's the reali- reality of the entrepreneurs. Yes. And、uh, you said、uh, venture capital gives many merit to venture businesses. It's true. But 
uh, everything has pros and cons. And getting money from venture capital has negative side, of course. Getting, by getting money, you would give a certain share to them. Share means the right to make decision, okay? So the if they had 40% uh, of your company stock, they would say no to important decision making, right? And if the you would get money from venture capital, instead you would have some responsibility to them, okay? Getting money back to them. So uh, you cannot uh, buy a Mercedes for your own uh, after getting money from outside investors. Uh, you cannot be, uh, you, can, you will decrease a uh, degree of freedom after getting money from outside. So, uh, no, uh, nothing is, has only has merit, right? So, both things would be uh, 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 coming with uh, venture capital's investment. It might be crazy idea, but how about using multiple venture capitals? Or not crazy, not crazy. Not crazy. Yeah, it's it's common. So that um, venture capitals share a little amount of um, our stocks, uh -huh. and even though uh, this uh, one venture capital have a little amount of their stocks, uh, maybe um, we can borrow um, huge amount of money uh, by using multiple venture capitals. Not um, borrow. Is yeah. it? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Sorry? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, um, it's not a crazy idea. In many cases, it's happened. And in uh, those cases, uh, there is a lead investor, major venture capital, that is leading other venture capital and home uh, and, and do the due diligence for investing to the company and set price of the company and split share, right? So it's it's gonna be uh, uh, possible possible option. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? All right. Okay. So go to the wrap up of my part. Wow. Okay, so long day, man. All right, wrap up of my part. Uh, we went through business model, value proposition, entrepreneurship, marketing growth, unit economics, and finance and venture capital. Well, the three factors of design. We thought logic, sense, love must be equally balanced, right? Uh, to to implement business, to design business, to grow business, right? The entrepreneur's role is everything, everything. You should design value proposition, business model, should set price, pitch business plan to someone else, someone outside of your company, raise money, do sales and marketing, recruit, blah, 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 blah and so on. But you don't need to do everything by only by yourself, okay? Contact the right person at the right time. And connect to good network to ask them, right? So networking is very, very important for entrepreneurs. So you did, you already did great action to attend this KOH program. Good network, right? So be active alumni of this network. Entrepreneurs need to have decent track record, I said, clear cut vision, communication skill, creative confidence for convincing your teammates, your partners, your investors, customers, every stakeholder that your idea or you, your innovative idea will be spread out, okay? But 
the most important thing is the charm as a person, right? So very <laughs> important it is. It makes people want help you a lot, right? You should, your teammate in your team, you cannot do anything by only by yourself. You need team. And finally, the most important thing is your charm, right? So <laughs> how do you define this, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And again, what is investment? Investment is an exchange of present certainty and future uncertainty, right? And it's uh, nested, ireko kozo desu ne, right? Then entrepreneur's life is a kind of investment. If you choose a life as an entrepreneur, that is investment. Taking uncertain future instead of stable, certain life at and established companies or whatever. No one gives a direction to you. You do, okay? You should handle your own business and your life with sense of ownership and sense of urgency, right? And last but not least, uncertainty is a big chance for you and good chance for us. Be proactive, be positive, be energetic, and be passionate and be fired up. <laughs> <laughs> fired up. Go for uncertain future. Okay? So, thank you very much. Uh, good luck on your journey and have fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, thank you, Hachiguchi san. How was it? Sounded like an entrepreneurship? Yeah? Okay, good. So, can you believe it? We've done it three days. Yay! Yes, yes. Are you fired up now? <laughs> so, okay. So, we've talked about three different things, right? So, design approaches and design thinking, and then system thinking and system approaches, and then business synthesis and business, um, business um, analysis. And then it all came with the mindset. Did you notice that? Did you notice that every day came with mindset and tool set? Mindset and tool set, okay? We think that's super, super important. And then did you notice everything is connected? Do you see that? First day, you were working with the post-it notes, okay? Doing brainstorming. Next day, you were drawing a lot of diagrams. Today, you were calculating, but they're all connected. Like we talked about this when we were talking about pricing, okay? Value proposition, everything is connected, okay? So that's what you need to do. That's what you need to know. You don't have to be able to good at everything. You can find your good friend to do it with you. However, you need to understand everything is connected. Your first brainstorming, that is connected to the pricing. That is connected to the U MQ, okay? So everything is integrated. So I hope that really sits in your brain and heart. And then, okay, you've covered these three aspects and some techniques. Now you're ready, okay? Sort of ready, ready to start running, okay? You ha you, you, this is like a basic training, basic training. You need to, you need to have it all. You need to have it all and to, to start this journey. So it was um, Global Innovator Acceleration Program, and then this is the wrap-up. So do you still remember innovation examples that I showed you? Yeah, I'm not going to play everything, but I, I'll just show it while I'm talking. So it was uh, the bandage idea that comes with the, the, the marrow donor kit. You thought this is, okay, just in a flash idea, but can you generate something like this? Can you monetize? Can you spread your words to the world just like they did? Can you achieve this? Okay. So you saw Small Business Saturday from uh, um, American Express. Do you recall it? Your memory? Yes. So this is done by big company. 
So it's not entrepreneurship. But if you work for American Express, can you write a plan for this? Can you execute? Can you manage this team? Okay? And maybe you were laughing at this song in Puerto Rico, right? But if, you know, think about it. If you work for a bank in Puerto Rico and your people are not working, can you come up with this idea and execute and make them work? Can you do that? Can you pull that off? So, yeah, I like this atmosphere because first day you were almost laughing. You know, you had some smiles when you first saw these videos. But now you can look at this video very differently because you kind of see, you kind of see him or her, someone, like um, working their ass off to make this happen, right? And absolutely, they're innovators, right? You can kind of see that. You can kind of feel that, right? So I think that's really, really important, okay? The first day, you didn't know that. You didn't know this kind of happens naturally. This occurs. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's planned. It's, it's executed, and it's managed. And there is a man or woman behind this. So that's the feeling I really want you to get through this three-day course. And then I hopefully we covered all the aspects. We didn't cover the every details, but we all the, uh, all the important aspects of, of these three videos. And of course, you cannot do that right away, but at least I want you to become innovative, okay, at least. To, to stand in the starting point, you have to start thinking innovatively. Different approaches, different goals, repurposing. You have to survive. You have to survive with new ideas. So I know you were laughing at this, right, contracts. But can you come up with something like this and execute and change people's behavior and mindset? So thinking innovative is very important. And sometimes it's difficult. And doing it is more difficult. Okay? So this was our KO Edge short course program. So we covered. So this was the, the capability structure. I hope now you have some in these little boxes, right? These three boxes that, that we covered. And hoping, or at least now you're curious about interdisciplinary approaching new value creation, right? And the first day, this was the mindset from IDEO. Remember, human-centered, it's collaborative, optimistic, and experimental, right? We did not cover everything. You can read tons of materials from IDEO and D-School. Don't read the others, okay? Because Buddha is still alive, so we should talk to Buddha, or we should, you know, listen to Buddha. After he passed away, we can, you know, talk to his deshi, but <laughs> yeah, they're still alive. You sh we should talk to them, right? So this was our first day. It was uh, this box right there. Next day, I've talked about system thinking as a whole, as a part, interrelationship of parts, and me see boundary. You want to be careful with the boundaries and multiple viewpoints. Remember all the all the, even though not not only two second day, but first day and today, they're all different viewpoints, right? But they are interrelated. Okay, they're interrelated. And then level of abstraction. This is important for any kind of topic. Even the MQ, even the um, Felmi estimate, the level of abstraction is so important to keep track of everything. Okay, and today we've talked about business synthesis and anal analysis. Okay, um, so Hashiguchi-san covered value proposition, unit economics, and marketability. We didn't talk much about profitability, but he did kind of, right? So you 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 need to be thinking, and then of course not only this, but it's iterative. Everything is iterative. So, and then, do you still remember? You need to think innovative. This is true. This is the true for any material that we covered. You need to think innovative and divergent, conversion thinking, and then insight, okay? Even though you are dealing with finance, business, you still get insight. He used the term insight several times during his lectures. He gets insight by thinking about money, thinking about maybe profit, thinking about um, quantity of the product, you get insight. So insight is everywhere. But you want, you want to find the insight that can drive you, 
not the new idea, but drive your project, drive your business. Okay, thinking outside of the box for a new value proposition. You want to orchestrate implementation for a solid start. And solid start does not mean going talk to a venture capital, but you know, you need to start your business or you need to start your idea. And then of course, accelerate penetration, the growth. You're aiming for the growth. And hopefully at the end, you want to be recognized as an initiator for this, right? Innovation. The process of turning opportunity into new ideas and of putting these into widely spread practice. I hope this sound different from first day, does it? Does this sound different? Do you think this kind of looking like a, your goal, this is something you want to do? Good, because we've talked about how can we turn our opportunities, find opportunities and turn it into new idea. And we've talked about how can we spread it, right? So we've talked about social few. And I love that you have changed your mind. This was just a terminology, ju just a definition in the first day of the first 30 minutes. But now, this is your purpose, maybe. This is, more, this is more meaningful to you now. And I hope you became someone like this now. Someone who aims new value proposition creation in a solid start, no matter if you want to start a company, if you want to start a project, I don't care, but solid start. And then you aim for growth. And then you look for insight, you try to implementation, and then accelerate it. And you can ideate, you can structuralize, and you think different all the time. And then, of course, we did not explicitly talk about this, but you are not only in the how domain, or how and what can you know, flip around, but it depends on how you define. You're not only here, you always need to think of thinking about what and why. This is super important. No matter where you are, what you are doing, you have to be thinking. You have to be thinking about why if you're a CEO, but if you work for a big company and working for a project, you still need to, keep, to be keeping thinking about why, okay? You need to be communicating about why level as well. So from tomorrow, you can start thinking innovatively, start thinking in an interdisciplinary mode, and start thinking to create new values, and start thinking, implementing the new, new value, and start thinking the growth, and start applying design thinking and its techniques, start applying system thinking, system approach, thinking and of course techniques, and applying business synthesis and approaches, okay? And you need to start doing, okay? Otherwise, you will become innovation man in the video. Oh, I forgot about implementation. Don't be like him, okay? Now you're ready to start doing. You're now ready, okay? So this is my last message for the lecture. Think innovative, create new and unique values, and be friend with uncertainty, and aim growth. It's, I'm not talking about the money, but if your idea, if you think it's good, and it, if you think that will be appreciated by somebody, grow it. Okay, people will appreciate that. Um, we are not talking about money, but we're trying to make people happy, right? That's the new value. And of course, you need to enjoy. And did you notice that all the lectures and all the people that teach this class are really happy, easy going people? Yeah, <laughs> well, yes, I think that's so common for entrepreneur type people. We, we were talking last night, and then, you know, you should hang out with the right people. So I think, you know, if you meet the right entrepreneur type person, he is usually really fun, or she is really enjoying her life, even though she or he seems to be, from you, are like facing the big risk. But I don't know, we love it so much. We love it so much. We used to work for, I used to work for a big company, and I love that too. I love that too, but I know that I'm cut it out for here. I, I'm cut it out for entrepreneur, more of a, more of a big company guy. I, I realize, I start to realize that now. So you, if you can enjoy this, I think you are, you can consider yourself entrepreneur in global context, okay?
and then this everything in a scale of global, okay? So m many of you started your um, tell me estimate from Japanese population, right? We were kind of disappointed. I wanted to see seven billion at the top of your list. Because how many people do you think you can you can make them happy with your new value? Okay, you need to start thinking. You need to start thinking. Don't think just too big and forget about uh, details, okay? I want you to be able to think about the seven billion and the person next to you. Okay, you need to go back and forth. You need to go back and forth. But you know, one point two billion does not mean anything. No. There is seven billion people on this planet. So and there is the people around you. So that's the scale that you, I want you to become, to become entrepreneur in global context. And I hope we provided you with a global context atmosphere and environment, yeah, for, for three days. Because we've been doing it in English and Japanese and we had some different nationalities and we had different people with um, different um, global background, right? So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you appreciate that. So, this is it for this short course. Thank you for joining us for three days, and I hope we really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. But before I, we let you go to the, to the hub and get drunk, I mean, <laughs> there are some information that I need to pass out, okay? So, this is the end of our coursework, okay? This is the coursework. Did you like it? Good. Can you do it? Can you do this from tomorrow and then become like this in the future? Okay, good. So, yes. And then this is just a starting point. So you need to be doing this. And then to, to help you to do this, we, are, we have prepared our program for project work, right? So this is, this is a complete set three days, but now we have this as a, as a sequential uh, program so that we provide you with a little bit more um, guided active le learning, okay? So this is a part of this innovative thinking. It's a project work. And um, so there will be two types. Since we have um, Professor Ikeda from SFC, he will talk about the SF Oh, yeah, can you wait for a second? Yes, sorry, yes. <laughs> right, so there will be two types of PBL, okay? And then SFC type, I will let the uh, Ikeda sensei give the talk, but this is not in, in my scope, okay? My scope is a SDM type PBL, which is um, which we will have um, about 16 of you to, to ask you to come to the PBL, and then um, it's going to be um, for until, um, until end of the February, okay? And here is how it looks different, okay? So SFC type PBL, you will hear about it, about it from um, Kira Sensei, but you will be focusing a little bit more on how to solve, how to implement area. Okay, because you will be a great help. You will um, get a great help from professors at SFCs. And you and your team has been working on this why and what area. But for this segment, you will be focusing here, spending more time here. For KOSDM type project-based learning, you will be spending more time why section. And trying to, try to clarify why and then trying to align what and how. Okay, so their, your deliverable output will be different. They will be more tangible, more, more, um, more, um, yeah, tangible. And then SDM type will become a little bit more uh, business plan type or intangible maybe, okay? So th that will be the difference. And um, so still the same structure, exactly the same structure and the, the same stuff that you learned here, nothing more than that. Now I'll let you do it. Okay, but we won't just let you do it, but we will help you to do it, all right? So, so this is the structure that we'll, we will have in project-based learning. Now you were here, 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 but that's, we, we consider it done, all right? Now you, I want you to apply it in an interdisciplinary approach way, and you, I want you to try to create new value creation. And this is where your domain knowledge kicks in, okay? Your engineer, your artist, your business person, that's where your domain knowledge kicks in and adds up with all the things you learned in three days. 
okay? Can you imagine yourself doing that, kind of, right? And then just to add a, a hint to this, we're going to have this, this plain English uh, communication skills. This is under development, but it's going to be fun. Um, so I will make you talk like Steve Jobs. No, maybe not, but maybe at least like me, all right? So more comfortable talking about concept, more comfortable about talking about the higher level abstraction things, okay, in English. Even though you have a less vocabulary, that's, you can do it. So that's what we're hoping. And um, so this is a slide I showed you earlier. And um, so we will ask you to deliver um, the, the, the project or the fascinating business design result. Okay, so that will be um, your project-based learning goal, and then uh, we will guide you um, towards that. And then, of course, the, the all of the instructor you s you've seen in three days, they will be there, or you, you will be seeing more. We will be seeing more. There will be a Takosan, the, the, the guy who wrote the book with him, uh, with Hachiguchi-san is coming, and um, it's going to be fun. So, and, um, right, so, um, Ikeda Sensei, do you want to talk about the SFC type PBL? Yes, please. Wow. It's pretty difficult to speak something after the, this impressive ending of three day workshop. <laughs> Okay, and also it's uh, pretty difficult and after the, the, the talk with my broken English and after the, the, this fluent guy. Okay, but actually this and since, oh, okay, uh, but I will switch it to Japanese after this because I, I want to avoid the, the misunderstanding and I want to save any time, so. But uh, so maybe later on, if you are uh, someone who uh, cannot understand Jap my Japanese explanation, I will explain it to you after this. I will be joined this, uh, the reception party after this. That is uh, one of the my uh, biggest purpose and I come here. <laughs> 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 anyway, I, actually I want to correct the, your impressions, uh, your uh, opinions or your uh, changes of the mind after this workshop. That is why I come here. It, it is serious. Anyway, I will switch it to Japanese, okay? えっと、今説明をあのちょっとしてくれたように、これからあのえっとこのグローバルインフィノベーション人材育成プログラムというのはもうご存知のことと思いますが、SFC ですので、あの、これと全く同じありませんけども、これと同じことを目的にしたえ、ワークショップをえっと、我々もSFCとしてもえ、もう1回、もう1回というか年に1回やる。SDMさんが年に1回やるので、年に2回このワークショップがえ
から卒業できるということになる、そういう意味で先行コース制というふうに呼んでいます。で、えー、とコース制って何やるかっていうのは、この、えー、ダイアグラムで、これ実は英語版もあって、あの I, uh, I can give you the English description too, that we made already in bilingual、uh, documentation for the overall explanation. But this, for this talk, I will switch it to Japanese again. <laughs> でえー、こう時間があんまりないので簡単にで説明しちゃいますけれども SFC タイプのやつというのはこの国際プロジェクトワークというのを中心にやってもらうという考えになっていますで、えー、この図の通りですね SFC コース制は、えー、基本的にこの国際プロジェクトワークと呼ばれるやつを、えー自分から提案をして、その提案を受け入れられることで、まずコース生になれると。で,ですから、コース生って言ってるんですけど、実はコース生になるまでが結構大変じゃないかっていう話もありまして、えー、SFC にいる諸君は、えー、競争的資金コあの、コンペティティブリサーチグラントと言いまして、あの森基金というのがありまして、その自分で、リサーチプロポーザルを書いて、そのリサーチプロポーザルをエバリエートされて、えー、お金をリサーチグラントもらうという仕組みを持っていますが、それとこう似ているところがあります。この場合も基本的にはこのプロジェクトプロポーザルがエバリエートされて、それによってコース制になることができます。で、その時にまあモデルとなっているのはこういう形で、えー、とこのプロジェクトは基本的に国内の技術力と国際的なフィールドを結びつけてもらうということを期待をしています。で、えー、具体的に海外の展開を考えた協力先を探してくること、またあるいは国内の、えー、連携先を探してくること、実際には SFC のは皆さんご存知と思いますが、えー、たくさんの既存のプロジェクトも動いてますので、その中から探してくることもできますし、えー、もちろんこっちの上にいるような SFC の今いる先生方が、えー、サポートしてくれる、あるいは、えー、我々も実はいろんな外部のアドバイザーの団体に支援をお願いしようとしてますので、その方々が今日みたいに集中講師にも。一緒にやってもらうというようなふうにも考えています。まあ、こういうにあの実は、えー、と自分たちでプロジェクトを探してきてとこういうふうに考えてまして、まあ、ちょっとそんなこと言われてもイメージができないんじゃないかっていうんでこれはあの僕のやっている今、えー、池田研究室の学生が、えー、例えば今やってることをこれに当てはめるとっていうようなことで説明してますが我々たまたま今理工学部さんとも協力をしてえー、エコハウスを一軒デザインして、えー、作ったりしています。で、えー、こういうのが、まあ、この中で使われているいくつかの技術みたいなものを国内の企業さんと話し,して、例えばこのエコハウス市場という形で、えー、この場合には実は、えー、とベトナムとかを想定していますけども、えー、そういうところで、日本政府との二国間カーボン,カーボンクレジット移転システムというのがありますが、そういうビジネスモデルを。使って、えー、品質できないかとでこれを、えー、実際にフィールドワークでやってくださいというふうに考えてまして、ちょっとこちらの、今日あまり資料がすみません、準備できてないので、えー、今、明日その出る予定のガイドラインの方を皆さんに。ちょっとお見せして説明しますが、今説明したのはこの辺で、まあ、この辺りを説明しますよね。で、えー、基本的にはなるためには、えーとえー、に
全校入学生を除いて、通常は3月かあの9月、SDM コースの、えー、この集中ワークショップを受けてから入学することもできますし、SFC は9月からも入学できますので、えーとまあ、入学だけじゃなくて、えー、と誰がなれるかっていうと、SFC の場合にはまあ基本的に慶応の学生だったらまず誰でも、それから社会人の場合にはまず、えー、とこれになりたいから、慶応の入学生になるためには、科目通り修正という仕組みが、えー、ありまして、そいつに申し込んでいただくと、えー、もちろんその時にあの推薦教員がいるんですが、それによって学生になることができます。で、えー、科目と履修生になってから入るということになります。ここに今ちょっとごめんなさい、社会人は募集期間に先出し、えー、特別学生、科目と履修生、リサーチスチューデントっていうふうに英語では言っていますが、としてなってから入学することができます。えー、基本的にあのサーティフィケートと。いうのを出すことにしておりますので、こサーティフィケートですね、えー、集中この集中ワークショップ、入学前に必要ですけど、集中ワークショップ、それから先ほどの海外フィールドワーク、海外プロジェクトで必ず2週間から4週間のあいぐらいの間、海外に行って、その自分の考えたプロジェクトの実現性についてのフィールドリサーチをしてきてくださいということ、それからな大学院でプロジェクト科目を取ってください。そして最後にグローバルイノベーションフォーラムで発表してください。この4つをちゃんと全部やると、あなたはサーティフィケート、えー、この SFC コースのプロジェクトワークを全部履修しましたよっていう、そういう,うーサーティフィケートをもらえることになって、えー、います。で、一方であの支援という形で、今との裏返しですけども、えー、こうしたプロジェクトをやるためにかかるさまざまなお金、が SFC コースの場合には、それを学生に出してあげるというのはもう一つの仕組みです。で先ほどリサーチグラントといったのはそういう意味もありまして、実際に海外のフィールドワークに行くための旅費とか、えー、それから、えー、いろいろプロトタイプのモデルを作るための、えー、費用とか、そういうものを、えー、出してあげる。それからプロジェクトコーディネーターっていうのがありまして、えー、先ほどのこの図の時にあった。この海外連携協力先の人たちが、えーまあ、ある意味ではプロジェクトのパートナーとして、えー、いろいろアドバイスを君たちにしてくれます。でまあ、アドバイスをしてもらうのに、ただでアドバイスしてもらうわけにいかないので、その人たちは学大学から SFC からお願いして、君たちのプロジェクトコーディネーターという職についてもらうことになります。えー、以上が大体、えー、SFC コースの、まあ、仕組みでして、えー、詳しいことはこの後ガイドライン等が、えー、明日以降に出ますのでそれを見てからあとまだ今日の時点で僕の説明聞きたい人はこの後リセプションの方でお話を聞いてもらえればと思います以上です So, okay, so that's the SFC type. And then for SDM type, we are just starting from this weekend. So I will let you know、um, who, uh, are, who is coming to the,、um, this PBL. And if you are busy or you cannot attend the PBL or you do not want to be、uh, selected as a project based learning course for SDM, please sign up that sheet. Just give a A、uh, small check on your name so that we will not select you for the project based learning. Because, yeah, I know your conditions. So、um, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory to become a candidate. You can choose to become, choose to become a candidate. And if you become a part of this、um, project based learning, then it's going to start on the 6th and it's going to be a brief introduction for your project based learning. And every other week, We will ask you to come and present your work. Okay? And every,、um, so it's going to be every other week. So we expect, and then you will be working with a team of four. Team of four, and probably be a good mix of、uh, different, multi different disciplines. And we will、uh, let you、uh, work in our lab. I will, I will introduce you to the lab、um, later on, but that you can use it for your group work. Okay? It's our lab for KO Edge. So, yes. And then、um, you're going to do a、um, small presentation, like a, almost like a progress report, but small presentation so that we see you, your progress. And then we will give you、um, e in each team, 
individual advices from different, different perspectives every other week. So that's how we do our project-based learning, okay? So you run yourself for two weeks, and then you come and present, and you get feedback from our, um, your instructors, and you have a time to discuss with us, okay? So that's how you do it. And then we're gonna have internal final presentation and on, the, on the March 4th, I mean the February 14th, and there is two weeks before KO Innovation Forum. What do you do in two weeks? You're gonna brush up your presentation. You're going to be speaking like Barack Obama or Steve Jobs, okay? We want to, we will, you know, for KOSDM um, pr project-based um, learning and SFC project-based learning, we want to do this presentation in, in English, okay? And after that, Edge Forum, 13 schools will get together and then will be a presentation. And I don't know about other teams, what language they choose to do, but hoping that all, only the KO team will be present in English so that we look kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. But many other courses are doing in, in some parts in English, so I don't know what will be. Okay? And I want to, you to remind, so you are now proud um, survivors of the short course. Yay. And you're part of our alumni now. Okay? We, we will set up the alumni premium We're still talking about it. So uh, we will give you all the premium whatever, the goods, okay? And so it was you here attending um, the first year. Now your, your last task is that you want you, I, I would love you to, um, you know, um, recruit us, recruit f uh, your friend for us, okay? Because you are the most reliable network we have right now because you know what we're talking about and you know who might be suitable for things like this, okay? So you're the most reliable network we ever had for KO Edge. So we're rely relying on you, okay? And we know who introduced who, so if he or she is a not so-so person, then we know where you live, so no, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, and then I, we, we're hoping that your friend will join us, you know, and then, um, and also, we're hoping you come back as a mentor, or you can just stop by, or you can, you know, like, you know, scout around w like we did, and then maybe get some questions and help them. You know, don't be like a, you know, like a, like a senior member in your, you, no, I'm not, I'm not asking for that, you know. You, 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 you have experience, so you can share the, 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 the difficulty. You can, you, you can understand their pain, so. I want you to become a mentor, m you know, peer mentor, and not help them, but support them in, in various ways, okay? So that's what we kind of expect. And then from next year for this course, we are part, uh, expecting some um, overseas students, namely um, Indi Indonesia and India. We are actually going to India in se uh, February to recruit um, guys from India, and we're so excited about this because Skype, you know, we have been Skyping with India over, you know, and then it's very difficult. Think about it. Talking Indian English over Skype, yes, it's a, it's a beyond your toic 990 <laughs> points, okay? It's very difficult. Yes. So, so we want to create this um, KO Edge ecosystem, okay? No matter your SFC or SDM, we want you to keep coming back. And then you, I want you to become um, a good friend with KOSDM and KOSFC and KO um, Science and Technology um, Edge program in the, in the future. And then it, it's only fed for three years. We're hoping to continue this. And like I said on the first day, now you are a proud member of our KO Edge alumni. Okay? So we will try to get this um, together. And then I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have some, uh, somebody in this 31 people to become um, host for this year, 2014 short course um, aluminum club, the host. So the host keep track of the, the, the males maybe, because we have your males, but I cannot, I cannot allow my alumni members to have that, okay? You need to collect the emails of the others because this is the in individual information that you cannot just get it from us, okay? So if you want to keep track of your alumni members, you need to ask everyone to sign up your alumni um, paper or alumni sign-up sheet. 
we cannot be a part of alumni, okay? Because it's your work. But we would love to work with an alumni club, all right? So that's, I, so, okay. To be flat, I'm, I'm looking for a host, okay? I'm looking for a short co course 2014 host to, to keep track of everyone's um, emails and everything, okay? So, all right. So by the end of tomorrow, we will send you out um, um, so you, uh, you will be welcomed for the uh, project-based learning or um, you will be welcomed for uh, next year mentor, okay? So you will be noticed by the email. Any questions? Clear? Good. Tired? Yes? Yes? I really appreciate uh, SDM's very enthusiastic lectures and staffs, and thank you, thank you very much for your the three days, uh, fan, very fantastic lecture. So my question is the the yes. Now I cannot clarify the precise concept or meanings of business synthesis, mm. or business analysis, mm. yeah, because the. Uh, Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, now. Uh, okay, Kazuki, Kazuki, we can probably bring that to Hub. Hub, Hub, okay, yes, okay, yes. okay. That's a Hub topic. But that's a new word we coined. We, yeah. we created that word. So we're trying to clarify, and you are part of our clarification okay. team now. Good. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I will visit you. Okay, yes. Or, yeah, or Hashiguchi san or Tomita san. And one last thing that I wanted to show you. Do you remember um, me talking about the. Um, Edge, um, edge lab. So we are, there is an edge lab, okay? This is edge lab. So this is edge lab in the second floor. You did not see because it does not exist yet. <laughs> but this lab will be ready in the, mo in the early, early April. Okay, we're gonna have opening party on the second floor, and then this will be all glass, and it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna have 3D printers, and we're gonna have other um, laser cutters and things like this, and there will be a social area, and you can come back. You are alumni members, and you're always welcome here. Okay, it's a second floor. You need no card, but you need a premium <laughs> member card. Yes, which we are considering right now. But so, so this edge room will be ready. And then right now for your group work, if you're selected for PBL, there will be a, just a blank white room <laughs> and then a couple tables sitting there. So it's not fancy like this, but you can imagine yourself sitting in here <laughs> and doing the group work, okay? So, so we will announce you, but I want you to all to come back on the opening ceremony for the, for the edge lab, okay? It's gonna be a really cool place so that we can show it off to um, our, uh, the people around us. And then, you know, we are so proud that we, we can do this with you. Okay? So, all right. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us for a very, very long day and very, very long three days. And we, it was really fun for us and because it was our first trial and it was a very, very first group with KO Edge program, and, and I think we're very proud that it was fantastic. It was fantastic, it was outstanding that a group of people we um, had here because we weren't expecting this. We were expecting that you struggling in English, you struggling in concept, and you struggling in integrating all the ideas that we are teaching. But, I mean, you guys went way beyond our expectations and I, I can see you can apply these things tomorrow. So thanks for joining us, and we, we, thank, we thank you for joining us and, and doing, this, doing this with us. And so please come back as a mentor, as a, as a part of our program uh, sometime in the future again. So thank you very much. The most important announcement, hub announcement. And uh, we have already started. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, pick a study as you mentioned. Oh, okay. <laughs> as I mentioned, right. It's right on time. So, you, yeah, so please help us clean up the room just a little bit, and then let's uh, move on to the hub. And if you're leaving, you can go. And please don't forget to sign up. If you are not attending the project-based learning for SDM for some reason, please sign up. Please say no, okay? Please, I need to know because we, we don't want to bother you, okay? So please check no for that, all right? Yes. SDM type of PBL ni sanka deki nai hito wa sign shitoite kudasai. Sanka deki nai hito wa sign shitoite kudasai, onegai shimasu.